let's return uh, to the situation surrounding Michael Schumacher this morning. Doctors say he's still fighting for his life two days after hitting his head in that skiing accident in the French Alps. These are uh, obviously the images we have from Addy's illustrious career, a man who uh, has got a career second to none in the world of F1. And let's just have a look at the uh, latest images Jane brought you a, a short time ago. This immediately after that accident, the helicopter there in that recovery operation. Our sports news correspondent Paul Kelso is in Grenoble where uh, Mr. Schumacher is being treated this morning. What's the latest you've got, Paul? Uh, we just arrived at the hospital, the university hospital here in Grenoble, Stephen, where Michael Schumacher is entering second day of his treatment. It's still not 48 hours since he suffered uh, this life-threatening fall in the Alps, about 50 miles from here, which has left him, in the words of the local media here, the Dauphin Libéré newspaper, in between life and death. He remains, as we understand, in a critical condition. Uh, no update overnight from the hospital or from the surgeons who carried out the life-saving, certainly in the short-term surgery, that uh, he received on Sunday. We are hopeful that there might be an update later today, that there was caution from the doctors. The, all the mood from the press conference we had yesterday from the doctors was that they would offer no forward prognosis. His condition is still, and his future is still, very uncertain, and there was indication they would only speak to the media if they had something definitive to say about a change in his condition. So we, like many other media organizations, camped out here outside the hospital. You can see the Alps in the distance where this tragic accident happened are waiting for news on a man whose condition has uh, and this this uh, this injury has really captured the attention of not just the formula one fans but of people around the world and the german president angela merkel uh, among those the chancellor forgive me among those expressing her shock overnight and bill clinton the former u.s president also uh, sending his support michael schumacher has done a great deal of work with the clinton foundation and that charitable work has been a big part of his retirement and all those uh, senior figures joining the ordinary Formula One fans and some who are gathering here at the hospital in wishing him well today. Paul, thank you. Well, let's talk to the chief executive of Headway, the head injuries charity, Peter McCabe. Morning, Peter. Good morning. Um, uh, is it fairly normal under these circumstances that, that, the, that there is no definitive sort of straight path to recovery following this sort of accident because it, it does seem like a waiting game at the moment it's not like a broken leg <clears throat> um, you uh, whereas a, a doctor can tell you you'll be in plaster for a few weeks then you'll have some physiotherapy and then you'll be back walking again uh, the brain is a very complex organ uh, and every injury is different and so it would be unwise for the doctors to try and forecast what the outcome of this will be we, we heard an hour ago for, from one of our reporters out there that the doctors have said overnight that the injury is predominantly to the right side of his brain. Mm -hmm. What does that, does that tell you? Does that have an impact on his recovery? Does that have an impact on what the prognosis could be? My understanding is that it's a diffuse brain injury, so it's not just where the impact was, but throughout the brain. Uh, and that makes it more difficult to predict uh, exactly what the outcome will be. Uh, but there are all kinds of, of situations that could develop. If we look at the positive side of this in saying, look, he's going to make a, a recovery and a pretty good recovery, and obviously everyone's keeping their fingers crossed that that is going to happen with the amount of care he's getting, what could he be looking at, he and his family, I guess, looking at in terms of, of possible impact, I mean, behavioural changes, what is normal? There isn't a normal, and you know, every um, injury, every individual, every brain is unique. Um, but what will happen is that they will try and stabilise him first and then um, if he is looking uh, good, they'll start the process of rehabilitation and they'll make an assessment of whatever deficits have occurred. Some could be physical, so he could be uh, having to learn to walk again, uh, having to learn basic things like dressing, feeding and so on. Um, He's then got to, we got to look at the cognitive deficits that may exist, so memory problems, uh, problems processing information, planning, um, undertaking complex tasks, uh, all of those. And then there could be behavioural problems as well. So there's a whole variety of things uh, that he could be facing. Uh, but the doctors will assess 
each aspect of, of, of um, his issues and they will work up a plan which is designed to meet his needs and his deficits. With, with a head injury of this <coughs> scale, is it ever possible to make an absolute full recovery with, with no side effects? Well, I've just had a text from James Cracknell, the Olympic gold medal winner, who uh, was uh, uh, hit by a truck, uh, an oil tanker in the United States at 70 miles an hour, the wing mirror hit him on the back of the head. And James has made a remarkable recovery, and I think that should give hope uh, but there are other situations where people don't make that kind of recovery and it really is impossible at this stage to say uh, what the outcome will be. And all of this for his family, it must be terrible. We, every day there are families up and down mm. the UK who are in that awful situation uh, not knowing the outcome and, and a headway, uh, the families involved really do understand what the Schumacher family will be going through at the moment. Well, and as you say, Peter, with, with anyone who is in that situation in the UK, they can, they can make their way to Headway Online, can't they? Get in contact with you for that level of support, which I know you offer. Thank you very much indeed for talking to Thank us this you. morning.